find the equation of the circle having radius 5 and which touches the line 3x plus 4y minus 11 equals to 0 at point 1 comma 2. Find the equation of the circle having radius 5 and which touches the line 3x plus 4y minus 11 equals to 0 at point 1 comma 2. Now we can solve this problem in so many methods. In this particular video, we will try to solve it using simple concepts like we know that distance between two points how to calculate and also we know the product of slopes of perpendicular lines is minus 1. So these are the two simple concepts we will try to solve this problem. So the first concept we are going to use is that OP is equals to radius or we can say that OP square equals to R square. And the second concept we are going to use is that OP is perpendicular to AB. We know that at point of contact the radius and the tangent are at 90 degrees. So that will give us that slope of OP multiplied with slope of AB equals to minus 1. And we also know slope is given by M equals to tan theta that is equals to Y2 minus Y1 by x2 minus x1. Now let us go ahead and apply these concepts. The first one OP square is R square. Let the center be H comma K. The whole problem is to find out the center. Then we have our standard equation that x minus H whole square plus y minus K whole square equals to R square where H comma K is coordinates of the center and R is the radius. OP square equals to R square will give us H minus 1 whole square plus K minus 2 whole square equals to 5 square. This is our equation number 1 and the number 2 equation is coming from slope of OP. Slope of OP we do not know multiply with slope of AB that is minus 3 by 4 which is equals to minus 1 product of them that means slope of OP equals to 4 by 3 but that is equals to y2 minus y1 that is k minus 2 divided by h minus 1. This is our equation number 2. So we have two equations from this we can calculate the values of h and k then we can directly go ahead and substitute in this. So we will try to write down k minus 2 in terms of h. So we will write down k minus 2 equals to h minus 1 into 4 by 3 and we will come and substitute here. We will have h minus 1 whole square plus 4 square by 3 square into h minus 1 whole square equals to 5 square. Let us simplify that. We will have 9 into h minus 1 whole square plus 16 into h minus 1 whole square equals to 9 into 25 which will give us 25 into h minus 1 whole square equals to 9 into 25. 25, 25 cut we have h minus 1 whole square equals to 9 that will give us h minus 1 equals to plus or minus 3. We have h minus 1 equals to plus or minus 3 that means h equals to 1 plus or minus 3. So we have two values for h, h equals to 4 or minus 2. Calculate the value of k for different h values first we will do for h equals to 4 here we will do for h equals to minus 2. What is the formula we have? We have we can use either this one or we can use this one. So let us write down k minus 2 equals to 4 by 3 into h minus 1. k minus 2 equals to 4 by 3 into h minus 1 that is 4 minus 1 3. So k equals to 4 plus 2 6. That means k equals to 6 for the first scenario h equals to 4 k equals to 6. Second scenario we will take h equals to minus 2 now. We will write down k minus 2 equals to 4 by 3 into h minus 1. h is minus 2. 
that is 4 by 3 into minus 3 k minus 2 3 will go minus 1 times k equals to minus 4 plus 2 which is equals to minus 2 that means for h equals to minus 2 k is minus 2 now once we know the coordinates of the center we can easily substitute in the standard equation to get the equation of the circles equation of the circles are first equation can be x minus h x minus 4 whole square plus y minus 6 whole square equals to 5 square that is one equation another equation is x plus 2 whole square plus y plus 2 whole square equals to 5 square we can simplify them and we can write them as x square plus y square minus 8x minus 12y plus 4 square is 16 16 plus 36 is 52 minus 25 plus 27 equals to 0 or we can also write it as second one x square plus y square plus 4x plus 4y plus 4 plus 4 8 8 minus 25 minus 17 equals to 0.